Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back! My name is Guy Hasson, and you are listening to the Squashbuckler Diaries podcast, the daily epic fantasy podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. We are following your life from birth to death, and we are now at, uh, I think, one of the longer arcs we've had so far about how killing is wrong, about a death. Uh, that hasn't been, it's been solved. The how it was done hasn't been solved. And something that may cause more than one ripple in Joy's life as she grows up. We follow her, uh, starting at age, uh, two. Cause what happened at the birth is, uh, to be told another way, uh, up to age six in season one. And she's going to be heroin and big things are going to happen to her, but, Everything that happens when she's young will have ripples in her life, certainly the things that have been happening lately. So you are coming at the end of the story, so please go back. I'm not going to explain it. Go back a few episodes. I think 196 uh, started this one. Okay, which makes this not the longest uh, arc we've had. Anyway, I also wanted to say uh, thank you for understanding. We had two days without uh, new uh, podcasts. Uh, I reposted some old ones because, oh, the family went camping. We were away for a few days and I planned ahead of time. I posted, uh, I recorded ahead of time. I ed- sounded it ahead of time. But when I came back, I was completely exhausted and just couldn't do anything for like a day. And then the next day, uh, I had six kids, not three, in the house from basically uh, morning till night because friends came in and I, there was no way I could record anything with six kids in the house. There was never enough silence. So the main thing was uh, uh, which I, I'm glad I have more than 200 episodes too from which I can repost. I didn't want to miss an episode uh, and I hope to repost as uh, little as possible. Uh, but it is interesting how to choose which episode to post. There are so many things I would like you to, uh, to remember, to, to notice, to, uh, feel again. Do I do something funny? Do I do something sad or tragic? Do I do something with ripples? There are really great things that were done that are just part of another arc. So, like, I wanted to talk, to replay uh, what the Red Dragon said about death uh, to Joy, because uh, that's crazy, and you should listen to that a few times, because she was not, she was completely honest, but she didn't say it the right way. She said it in the most uh, unintentionally hurtful way she could. What is actually the truth? Why is it the way she said it? That's one. Uh, oh, there are such moments of triumph in the land of the giants arc. And um, so many things I wanted to say and wanted to show. And I ended up showing, you know, uh, singles, like stories that stand uh, for themselves, by themselves. Uh, one of uh, my favorite ones was uh, about how Joy had so many things in her hair. Based on a real story, of course. Uh, and I think I explained that in the episode. And then uh, I reposted episode 111, The Nuclear Bomb. Joy! Joy! A, you know, a, a young girl less than six years old handles a nuclear bomb because she lives in a dream. But that doesn't make the bomb less bomby, less dangerous, less nuclear. And she is such a heroine in that one. Again, based on a real story. Not that my girls ever handled nuclear bombs. 
And I hope they won't. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, those were the last two days. And now, let's see what happens at the end of, uh, uh, almost the end, not yet the end, of uh, the arc about um, the evil fairy forest king. Oh, the evil forest fairy king. I keep forgetting, I keep messing that up. And Joy and her doubt and is killing wrong, is killing not wrong when it's villains that are as vicious as the ones in uh, Joy's dreams. Anyway, let's see what happens next. And let's see how Justin handles Joy's uh, education, mood, future in this, what is for him, the present. Episode 206, Killing is Wrong, Part 3, Trembling. Joy's age five, told by the Red Dragon. Dragon Father and Dragon Lil were staring at the horizon in silence. There was only a little bit of wind in the sails and the waves were low. Since the wind was caused by Dragon Father's subconscious, I assumed he was not ready for adventure yet. I have never known my father or my mother. I was raised as a slave. It was strange and touching to see how considerate he was towards his daughter. Dragonil raised her small hand. My hand is shivering, she said. It's cold, trembling. I'm not cold. Yeah, it's not because you're cold, it's because you're really upset. My tummy is trembling, she said. On the inside? Yeah. Yeah, that happens when you're this upset. It's good. You have emotions. Emotions are good for you. Yeah? Yeah, it's what my mom always said. What? Dragonfather had never mentioned his parents before. I am not sure Dragon Lil knew what the word mom meant. I could not recall that they had ever used that word. Huh? What? Uh, never mind. He waved his hand aside. You know what it means, though, that your tummy is trembling. She shook her head. It means you need a day off. How about ice cream? Yay! She jumped up and down. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream! You take the helm. Go and find the ice cream planet. Dragolil ran to the wheel. Where is it? Second star to the right and straight on till morning, he yelled. Huh? Somewhere over there, Dragonfather pointed to the sky. Just go! And they went. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, Bonnie's Revenge, Killing, Ice Cream, Peter Pan. So, also, we don't often get anything about Justin's life. And he doesn't reveal anything, usually. He just has his adventures in his dream. And this time, two things slipped out. Um, Peter Pan, that's one. And uh, something about his mother. And from that, we learned that Joy has never heard the word mother. Speaking of ripples... It's not that this mention of it, which was just glossed over, uh, is the thing that has ripples. It's the fact that she has never heard the word mother that has ripples. Some of the things that have ripples in your life are the things that we never actually talk about. Uh, it's the things that are in the background. It's the things that are never spoken. It's the things that are never mentioned. It's the things we take for granted. And we're going to find out all those things soon and in the future in Lost in Dreams book one. But that's again in the future. So for now, the story is not over. He took her for ice cream. The question is, what now? Or... In this little arc, what happened before? So, come back tomorrow for a new episode called The Death of the Evil Fairy Forest King as we learn how he died. And the mystery is solved. 
question, can you solve that mystery before listening to that episode? Uh, for that, you'll have to go back and listen to the information you already have. In any case, come back tomorrow. Tell your friends about the show. Recommend this, please. Rate this podcast. Help us spread the word. I will see you tomorrow. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and, in fact, 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com, that's G U Y. H-A-S-S-O-N G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N at gmail.com The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hassan and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. <laughs>family went camping uh we're away from a few for a few days and we were we were away from we were we were away for a few we were away for a few days and